Hey, Clive Pallon here, Philly Starting Line. Welcome. This is the, the, the continuation of the uh, video series on the SEO Moz Beginner's Guide to SEO. This is still about Chapter 4. This is Part 3. And this, is part, uh, this part is about keyword usage and targeting. This is another really important section, I think, because it's got some very important information and some important uh, concepts in it. First of all, keywords. Keywords are the fundamental to the search process. Yes, they are. They're the building blocks of language. They're also the, uh, the, the, the fodder for the science of information retrieval. Um, and search engines will take keywords, keyword phrases, and put them into their own databases. So they, they, they create databases around a keyword or a keyword phrase. So they not only index pages and, and cache pages, but they also create huge databases of individual keyword and keyword phrases. And in doing so, it's important to understand that, the, that it's the context around the keyword that's important. In other words, um, the order in which the keywords are typed, the spelling, the punctuation, the capitalization of these words, uh, whether or not they're at the beginning and the top of the page and certain portions and key markers on the page, all that is very important. And just to illustrate that, Let's, let's uh, go take a look at a search for dog training. So if you type in dog training, just that straight up, you're going to get these results. And you're going to see the, you know, these sites in this order. And you're going to see 97,800,000 results. That means that dog training has 97 million. Let's, let's do it a little bit more. Dog training schools. Let's. So here you're going to see 28 million results, 100,000, okay? And you can check out these websites and, and do whatever you want. Now, if you go to dog training schools in quotes, now you're going to get a, a completely different number. Dog training schools had 28,100,000. Dog training schools in quotes, in ex in, that means it's going and finding pages that have dog training schools in that exact order only. 370,000 results and a completely different return on what you see here. So that's what it, it that's why uh, that's important to understand about keywords, the context in which they're they're typed and and you'll have to understand that when you're searching online you can type it in without the quotes or you can type it in with the quotes if you do it with quotes you're going to get exactly more exact in my view uh search results then it also goes on to talk about keyword abuse uh <clears throat> it dispels the whole notion of keyword density forget if, if you don't know what it is don't worry about it you don't need to know and it, it tells you that the number the <clears throat> The number of times you use a keyword on the, on, on the page has no bearing on whether or not it's going to make it easier to have that page rank. But what's important to understand is the relative position of where those keywords, are, that keyword or keywords are located, uh, where in the document it occurs, if it's <clears throat> other terms that are used with it, uh, the main topic and subtopics of, if, you know, it depends on whether they're in the headers and in the certain titles and it goes on to explain in the next section on page optimization exactly what it means by that and so it goes in on page optimization simply means you, you want that keyword phrase uh, that keyword to appear in certain markers on the page both the one that you humans see and the one in the back end in the, in the code that the search engine sees so one of the uh, places you want your keyword or keyword phrase is in the title tag uh, that's area number one. Number two, you want it near the top of the page so that uh, it will establish its importance. You want it in the content of the, or your material at least two or three times. And you want variations of that keyword or keyword phrase in there as well. You want it, if you have a picture or an illustration, you want that keyword phrase in the alt tag that describes what that picture is about. So you want that phrase in writing in the alt tag so that the search engine will not because it can't see the picture so it needs something to describe what that picture is you want it in the uniform resource locator you want it in the url and the address bar you don't want a bunch of numbers and, and a funny looking uh, address uh, identification for the website or the page and then you want it at least once in a meta description tag the meta description tag is a box in the code back end you don't see it 
uh, as the human, but the search engine sees it and it describes what that page is about. So those, those are the key areas where you want it, and then it goes on to describe what the title tag is uh, and how you have to be mindful that it can only be 65 to 70 characters. It's important to place the keyword in the front of the title tag. You also, with SEO miles, you can put the branding, you and your company name at the end of the title tag. So that's part of the branding of your website. Uh, and you want to make sure that it's a, a readable uh, title tag, that it's, you know, that, that doesn't sound phony. Then it goes on and describes other meta tags. These are, this is code in the back end. You won't see this, but the search engines see it. And these tags tell the search engine to do certain things. Uh, an index, no index. An index tag tells the, uh, the, the, the search engine that it can index the content and put it in the database. A no index does the reverse. It tells the search engine, don't index this. A follow, no follow. A follow tag tells the search engines whether those links that it finds in, on your page and your website should be followed to the next page wherever that link leads. A no follow tells the search engine, please do not follow this link. Now, uh, you, you'll get a lot of these in your link profile and it's important to know what those tags mean. No archive is used to restrict search engines from saving a cached copy of the page. So they may not want to have that page cached and, and uh, put away by the search engine, so you use this kind of a tag to tell it not to do it. No snippet tells the search engines that, that they should refrain from, dis from displaying a descriptive block of text next to the page's title. Generally, when, when you pull up a search result, you're going to see the name of the, you'll see the URL, and then you're going to see some descriptive material in there. Sometimes it comes from the meta description, sometimes it comes from a thing called a snippet, and you're telling it you don't want that to happen. And then sometimes you, you don't, you, you get tags that, uh, tell search engine not to grab the descriptive snippet from key other directories, the ODP directory and the Yahoo directory. I wouldn't worry about those because the odds of you your being in those directories, unless uh, you're, you're really dedicated, are low, but I wouldn't worry. You know, it just tells the search engine, please don't put a descriptive tag that comes from one of those two directories if they're make the page is in it. It goes on to describe the meta description. That's another box in the back where I already mentioned that before where that describes and tells the search engine what the page is about. Uh, there's also a tag called the meta keywords tag. It's not that important anymore because too many people were, were gaming the system by stuffing meta keywords and trying to rank for that. Uh, and then although these tags can have uses for search engines, that is a meta refresh, meta revisit, etc., they are less critical. So there are other meta tags in there that are not as important. So the whole point behind this, this um, part of the chapter is to explain the key concept behind keywords, where those keywords, how they get uh, uh, found and indexed by the search engines, where you should put those keywords on the page and in the code behind the page so that the search engine can find you. Um, if you look at how to tra a dog training site, here's, the, here's a dog training site. If you take a look here at the code, you're going to see there's a title here, how to train a dog, dog training tips. You can see that dog training is in the, t the title tag. It's in there, so that's why it's ranking for it, tips, techniques for home-based trainers. So there's a lot of information here that, uh, that's in the tag. That is the title tag. That's probably the most important part. And then somewhere here, there should be a description. Here it is right here, it says description. Discover how to train a dog with the right way to see yourself. This description tag is very important also. So you want it in there. And uh, this has the keyword in there and it has a lot of uh, learn how about uh, clicker dog training. There's the keyword again, dog whispering puppy. So you can see how important it is, dog training techniques. There's the keyword again. So it's important to understand how to apply this this information when you're designing your website. And here we just saw a website that's doing it just right. So that's it. This is part uh, three and, and chapter four of the SEO Ma's Beginner's Guide to SEO. I hope this video has been helpful. This is called Plan Affiliate Starting Line. Stay with it, stay well, and we'll talk soon.